Hello, and welcome to the session. So far, we have covered the uh, concept of compensation and benefits. We have learned about the objectives behind having a plan and having a, uh, an effective compensation and strategy uh, in place. We have understood uh, planning a compensation model in terms of what goes behind while, prepare, while creating a model. We have also talked about the factors influencing the compensation. In today's video, we are going to talk about the types of compensations. So this is a, a broad overview or a diagram which talks about, uh, you know, which show indicates what compensation is all about. So compensation is broken into two, two types. One is direct and the second is indirect. And we are going to talk about it in detail in the coming slides. So direct payment is a cash payment, wherein indirect is a non-cash payment. Direct compensation is further divided into two, which is pay and incentives. Pay is also further divided into the base pay and merit pay. The indirect or non-cash compensation is divided further into benefits and services so let's now understand each uh, you know each part of the compensation so compensation can take place on monetary and non monetary terms direct compensation it enables the employers to make sure that employees are getting paid without any biasness inside the premises of an organization all the benefits, including the employer's employee's salary, as well as health-related benefits are included in this type of compensation. It keeps the threat of cost incurred loss away from employee's mind that a well-trained employee might leave the organization to the competition. The examples which are, uh, you know, which fall under the direct compensation are uh, bonus, employee rewards and recognition, commission on sales, sharing of profits, paying for work, working overtime, etc. This is over and above of the wages or the salaries that are being paid to an employee for their services. The second type of compensation is indirect compensation. Indirect compensation indirectly motivates the employees. It doesn't involve the direct transfer of the money between the two parties. Instead, the employees are helped with multiple other beneficial things instead of getting benefit in cash. It eventually creates a sense of belonging and administration, adm admiration by the company, keeping them away from the front of leaving the organization. The examples are internet reimbursement, mobile phone reimbursement, public recognition, transfer facility, promotion opportunities, paid house for stay by the company, as well as company car for traveling, or free scholarship for an online courses. So we have talked about the two types of compensation, direct, indirect, wherein cash and non-cash compensation. While we further break direct and indirect compensation into further components. Now, what are the components of compensation? An employee's total compensation comprises of four components. The relative proportion of each constituent in the total compensation varies from form to form. The first and generally the major component is base compensation, which means the fixed pay an employee receives on a regular basis, either in the form of salary or wages. So this is what we also call the basic pay. The basic pay is usually 50% of the total uh, gross income that an employee gets. And this is all taxable. <clears throat> the second component is allowances, such as HRA, the house rent allowance, dearness allowance, and city compensatory allowance, transport or conveyance allowance, medical allowance, child education, etc. So this second component which is called allowances, this is also a cash uh, transaction but it gives you an opportunity 
to save your tax basically you are given a certain uh, you know category or an amount under each category of uh, the component wherein if you are able to provide the bills or the receipts you are able to save the tax on that receipt amount and rest the balance is uh, taxable so this basically the second component of, of allowances helps you save your tax under each category of allowance the third component is incentive pay planned to reward employees for good performance such as performance linked bonus share in profits etc so this is completely uh, you know dependent on the uh, employee performance or if it's the organization performance uh, this it depends on that this is also completely taxable the fourth and the last component is the benefits or indirect compensation or prerequisites such as provident funds pensions gratuity encashment of earned leaves company accommodation company car paid holiday club membership and stock options so this fourth component is an indirect compensation where you are not paid in cash these are the benefits or services that are paid which ultimately adds to the cost of the company but it is not a part of your uh, you know it doesn't count as a cash component of your uh, total compensation so uh, this is uh, all about in this particular video we have talked about the types and the further broken down components of compensation strongly recommend that you go ahead and read about all these in you know in depth google it find out more details read books and understand it better for a deeper understanding uh, for now a broad level understanding of what includes in a compensation i guess this uh, particular part of the information should help moving forward in the next video we are going to talk about the laws around compensation and benefits and uh, until then uh, Goodbye and I'll see you in the next video.